in today's part of my F1 23 My Team Career Mode, we go to Mexico for the Mexican Grand Prix, one of the highest altitude circuits on the calendar and long, three long straights. We're all with DRS. We could clinch the championship today with a P5 finish. Let's see whether we can do it as we are here in qualifying. We're currently in PA, our first lap didn't exist. This is our first lap because we didn't have the tyres to do so because we needed two runs to get out of Q1 and Q2 because the field is so tight now. So we start the lap. Two other drivers, I think, believe in Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso, the two Spaniards not going out in this Spanish-speaking country. They haven't gone out at all in Q3, which is very surprising. I don't know why, and they still haven't gone out. So maybe they've got some sort of issue. But we are currently in P8. With a, we need a good first sector time. Pierre Gasly's is a 1.28.1. What can we produce? We can also produce a 1.28.1 and we are marginally up on Pierre Gasly in sector one, which means as things stand, we'll be placing our car in P6 as we finish off the lap then with this very tight, low speed uh, final sector. We're going to come round the final corner and up to the line, short run to the line. We're going to take the inside line. It's going to be a 1, 16, 7, 9, 8. And that's going to be enough for P2. So the front row for us. So we could clinch the championship today. And we are certainly doing it at the moment. P2 for us. and But unfortunately for us, the man in second place in the championship, George Russell, is also the man on pole position Esteban Ocon in P3 as well making it we are we're sandwiched by the uh, the Mercedes but Oscar Piastri in P4 our teammate doing exceptionally well the top five covered by just over a tenth the top four by less than a tenth shows how close it is between the cars now only in season two and like I said Fernando Alonso in the McLaren and Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari not at the moment well, well, just didn't go out at all. So they'll be start lining up P9 and P10 respectively as the strategy seems to be a soft to medium. We're going to go just slightly over fuel and I'm thinking maybe do a medium hard because the soft tyres did wear out a lot in qualifying and we know we aren't exactly kind to our tyres and it seems others in the top 10 are thinking along the same lines. So the majority on the hards. George Russell, however, he's starting on the softs. And Esteban Ocon and Oscar Piastri, our teammate, and Lando Norris behind us, all on hard tyres. So that's going to be very exciting to see how they perform. As we go to five red lights for the Mexican Grand Prix. Here in season two, it's lights out. And away we go. George Russell does not get a good start. And into turn one, we are going to take the lead before turn one. In into about Within about 100 metres, we lead the Mexican Grand Prix already. And Oscar Piastri, you see, he's had a mega star as well. He makes it a one, two. For us, as we head towards turn one, we leave comfortably no competition whatsoever. Piastri, though, he's fighting for P2 with Russell, Norris, and Ocon as well. So, uh, top three, top uh, top four other than us. So, second, third, fourth, all fighting for that position. But it is as you were from the grid, I believe, with Piastri in P4, Ocon in P3, and Russell in P2. We've already got ourselves a one second gap on those cars ahead, behind, on those cars behind, but can we hold it? Because Russell's going to be mighty quick on those soft tyres and Piastri also, he's dropped down to P5 already. So to Perez on the soft tyres. So Perez showing the soft tyres do look really grippy and Russell as well. We were two seconds ahead of him out of turn four and he's now he's already caught up to us and he's five tenths behind us already. So incredible scenes and now Russell, he could set up a move into turn one with the right exit out of the final corner. At the moment, these medium tyres don't feel too good on the car. It feels a bit like driving on ice at the moment as Russell gains, gains, gains and into turn one. George Russell going wheel to wheel with us or down this long uh, home straight. Now Russell, is going. Is he going to take the lead or are we going to defend it? We are going to defend to the inside but Russell goes round the outside completely and Russell takes the lead. No, we just slip our car through but now we go deep. We go deep and now Russell's going to allow Russell to overtake us into turn four. 
we get a check for damage because we did collide with Russell. As we can see, you get a warning there. Can we go back around the outside? No. Russell is comfortably ahead. Can we send it down the inside? No. Now, where's Ocon come from? Ocon, Esteban Ocon, has come out of absolutely nowhere to take P try and take P2 from us, but we are having none of that. One Mercedes has overtaken us, but we're not letting both of them overtake us just yet. And George Russell already 1.2 seconds up the road. So he's got some mega pace this weekend on the soft compound tyres. And Esteban Ocon is now being overtaken by Sergio Perez. And we have just managed to keep in DRS of George Russell for the past couple of laps. It's just been a DRS train. As we start lap eight, we gain on Russell. We gain on Russell. Our tyres are probably slightly better than Russell's. Now, as we head towards turn one, we're going to go down the inside of the Brit and up into P1 if we can. Russell is giving us a great fight, but no. We hold the position and get keep. Overtake P1. One and into P1, and there's a yellow flag behind us. I'm not sure what that's for. Is that I think I think Drogovic and the Williams has spun it in turn two, so not a great uh, start of the race for Drogovic at all. As we we're pitting in a couple laps time, the tyres still haven't felt good, and George Russell's tyres still feel really good. It's clearly as he re overtakes us up into P1, and Ocon is he also going to try and go for the move on us? Is because we are all out of shape and he'll have DRS here and we won't. So that's not going to be ideal for us. Is Ocon now gains. We can't really come back at Russell at all because he's got DRS. Obviously the double DRS really benefiting the Mercedes here. As Russell, uh, Russell's clearly got us. Ocon tries to go around the outside. We defend to the inside. But now lap 16 we are going to pit this lap and we are not going onto the hard tyres. We have extended. We were meant to pit about three laps ago. We've extended to go onto the soft tyres because the hard tyres didn't seem to perform too well. As you could see, the soft, those on softs, i.e. Perez, overtook three hard runners in Norris, Piastri, and... Ooh, I can't remember who else. And I don't remember. But either way, they've overtaken three... He overtook three people. So the soft And the softs look really good. So I'm going to gamble it, go onto the softs, Instead of the hard tyres. But unfortunately for that, for us, that means we're going to come out pretty much dead last. At the back of the field. And we are going to have a job re-overtaking everyone. We come out behind Valtteri Bottas, head of Alexander Albon. So it's going to be incredibly difficult for us to get back up into a podium position. Maybe we made a mistake by starting on the mediums and going, and going long. That might be a mistake as well. As Valtteri Bottas is the first man we need to overtake to get up into P19. And here we go then. Before he gets into the DRS of Kevin Magnussen. We're going to send it down the inside of Bottas. And up into P18. I believe someone else pit. I'm not sure actually. I think Bottas was in P18. But now Kevin Magnussen. We're going to gain. We're going to gain. We're going to go copycat move down the inside of Kevin Magnussen. And up into P17. Now can we dance it? Round the outside of Yuki Tsunoda on the much grippier soft compound as we can. Oh, what a move! Round the outside of Yuki Tsunoda and up into P16. Incredible! What a move! Ah, oh, probably possibly one of my best moves of the season, of the even of the series. Round the outside, just like that one on signs in Mexico in uh, Austin last week. Incredible, and now Charles Leclerc is the next man who's got a five-second penalty. I'm not, I have no, no idea why. Maybe he caused Djokovic to spin earlier on. I, no other instance have happened. But either way, he is looking kind of slow. So maybe he's got a bit of damage. As we're going to re-overtake, we overtake. We're going to overtake Carlos Sainz and up into P15, uh, but then get P14 as well on Logan Sargent and then the other Aston Martin. Lance Stroll does not pose a threat at all. We go round the outside. Of him and then down the inside of Pierre Gasly. We're making moves left, right, and center all over the shop here in Mexico. It's Nico Hulkenberg now. We are all over the back of him here, all over the back of him, and our soft tires are looking mighty racy here in Mexico as we gain on Hulkenberg. We gain, we gain. Are we gonna go for the move? We're just over under a two tenths behind, and we are gonna send it. Down the inside of Hulkenberg and up into P11. And now Max Verstappen, next man to be overtaken. And I think a 
massive dive bomb will suffice on Verstappen, just like he would probably do to us in real life. And Piastri is now in P8, and Lawson's having a mega race in P9 in the Williams. Incredible, especially with Drogovic down in P20. Oh no, is that Liam Lawson? Oh no, it's the commentator's curse. Oh, Lawson's engine has blown up in our face just as we were praising him. Oh, poor Williams and poor Liam Lawson. They was doing so well in the Williams as that's brought out the safety car. Wow, so another late safety car here in um, our C series. Wow, safety car is now in on lap 23. So we're going to have two laps of racing to maximise our position. We're on newer, softer tyres compared to everyone else's medium tyres. As we go racing here again in Mexico, starting lap 24. And Piastri hopefully does not give us too much of a fight as he is our teammate. So we gain, we gain. He looks quite far back. We have got quite a good launch off the restart. And we are going to overtake Piastri. Hopefully he doesn't fight us too much which he doesn't. And now Fernando Alonso, next man to be overtaken. This could be a championship winning day for us. So we need to get up into P6 or P5. I'm not sure which. I believe it's P6 actually now looking back because we're going to go down the inside of both. And not, ooh, hoo, hoo, whoa, wow. We go down the inside of uh, Ricardo after overtaking Alonso and Alonso sends it back. Wow. So now... In that was incredible. And now, Lando Norris is the next man to, for us to try and overtake as we are on the second to last lap in sector three as we are about to start. And we get a massive, massive launch, a much better exit than Lando Norris out of those sort of windy corners. But no, no move into uh, that corner. But now into the hairpin, we do go down the inside of Lando Norris. And up into P5. So we are, as things stand, champions. The World Drivers' Championship just so far. But we've still got a bit of a way to go. We need P4 if Russell is to win. But as you'll see, Sergio Perez currently leads the race. And that means seven points are going Perez's way and not Russell's, which means as Perez wins his home race, we're going to take the checkered flag. We are going to be a world driver's champion in this F1 season in season two. Let's go. From dominant displays in Canada and Austria to close races in Texas, we do deserve that. We really do. And what a way to do it here in Mexico. So then, P1 for Sergio Perez in his home race, two seconds ahead of George Russell, who was leading 
for so long. But it's a focus on us. The spotlight is on us because we have won our first Drivers' Championship. 108 points remain to be collected from the season, including the sprint in Sao Paulo. And 110 points is the gap. But it's still all to play for in the constructors. We only lead by 60 points and one good race for Ferrari and a bad race for us could change everything. Piastri finishes in P9 after an impressive quali. Unfortunate, but it happens. Just like us, we move down in the order as well after qualifying. And that is it for this part of my F1 23, my team career mode. See you guys next time for the final sprint of the series. It's Sao Paulo. Make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that one coming out next week. See you guys then. Goodbye.